Okay, we know about met heads. Hey, DOD, you find any met heads yet? Huh? Come on, go. Go go find some. There you go. Make, some, make yourself useful. It's not dangerous to trail, so there's a guy here. We're not going to show his face. So, uh, you work. I work okay, at, we a, met at, a where? at okay. a Hortons. At a Hortons. At Tim Hortons. Okay, yep. we're good at Tim Hortons. Yeah. And you had to deal with med heads all the time. All the time. And you're not really paid to handle people with... Nope. Uh, especially yeah. It doesn't say in the job description you have to learn to deal with med heads. Yeah. Right? Yeah. doesn't say it in the job description. doesn't say anything like that, but here I am. How much an hour? 14 an hour. 14 an hour. Well, 14, Any benefits 20. there? Uh, for me, yes, because I'm full time. But for other people who are just working part time, no. Just, just for just the, for full timers, yeah. Just for the record, yep. Lisa is a nice person. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, she's she's sweet. Everybody, everybody there's awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How the hell did she stay there for 28 years? That's, I don't know. That that is something that's beyond me. Yeah. She could write a book. Yeah. It would be a good book. Anyway, let's focus. Yeah. Right, yeah. right, he's doing right now. So you left work. Uh, so actually, I was on my way to work at around 5:30 in the morning, and I was. It was a beautiful day, so I decided to walk next to my bike, and I was down uh, by the river uh, before the walking bridge, and you know, there's no lights there, so I hear you know crazy screaming. I'm like, oh, meth heads, great. At least they sound far away, and then I hear the like the of somebody running up, and then I get clocked in the back of the head. I land on my D and, and knee. Yeah. Yeah, no, I have a, I have a, right now I'm sort of dealing with the after effects of a little bit of a mild concussion. Cause they, and, they and, <laughs> and the flashbacks. Yeah. The mental, I mean, okay, go ahead. Yeah. And so I, they clock me, I land on my knee and the only reason what, what I. What time was this? Four o'clock in the morning? Around four, around 5.20, 5.30, I was on my way to work. So the only reason why I didn't get robbed and lose all my stuff is because this was in my pocket and I pulled it out and I started swinging you in random swing, direction. You start swinging with that? Yeah. Wow. That's the only thing that saved my my hundreds of dollars of gear in my bag, because this is my bug out bag. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And and I think the reason why I got attacked is because they see this as a big walk in loot box. Ah, yes, yes. Yeah. That were gained, That was grabbed the attention of the medheads. And yep. what else happened? After that, you want to know what I did? I limped my way to work, and I patched myself up with a med kit that I have in there, and then I worked. And then I got sent home two hours later because I was like limping like a, a you crazy person. You had a person. met kit. I thought you said you had a met kit <laughs> oh, kit in there. <laughs> oh no, a medical kit. Medical kit. Yeah. I was gonna say a yeah, kit like, in uh, there. Like, okay. like a big doctor's bag. So yeah. what happened to your arm? To your arm? So that was one of them. They had a knife, but it wasn't like sharp or anything. And he pressed it against my arm. And now I'm the immediate thing was like ah right and i didn't know what was going on and i look and then the time i look this was a big blister right here wow no wow yeah you can see you can see the tip of the knife and in you the... were going to work yeah what they do how, how how the hell did that happen did they well i got the knife for well that's what i assume i didn't see him with a, a torch or nothing they just ran up and i get clocked in the back of the head and my arm grabbed and... it's not good yeah. And where was DOG in all that time? Oh, he's probably protecting somebody else. <laughs> we were sleeping. That's what we were doing. <laughs> well, that's that's pretty scary. Yeah, it is scary. You, you want to you want to know you want to know what though? It made me start working out again. Oh yeah. I'm not getting caught caught but, off guard. But but you can't be working out any muscle or anything can't stop you from being stabbed. That is true. Or a gun or whatever. That is true. I know me, I'm going to get a knife across the throat one of these days. It's just a matter of time. Uh, and uh, But you can't live in fear, right? No point in living in fear. No. no oh, I, sorry. I wholeheartedly agree with that. Well, it's I still bike the same route every day. I'm not going to let that, I'm not going to let their, me be scared. What let you me got, not live my life. What do you got to tell the chief of police? You gotta get a hold of this man. The city's going completely under. It's going heck in a handbasket. There's there's people attacking each other. My buddy, he he almost got beat up the other day just for walking because some crazy across the street just started, you know, he crouching, walking with his hands shaking like this. He starts screaming at my friend. Like there's so many of these there's more drugs in this town than there is in Moncton and St. John put together. <laughs> 